our plan for production of pharmaceuticals in Saratov has been working in the pharmaceutical market for more than 30 years. We use various pharmaceutical equipment that meets the requirements and standards of GMP to produce our products. Last year, the management of our plant decided to improve the processes of production to optimize the operation of equipment. At the general meeting on the development of production, the leading production engineer suggested buying a drying oven for the extracts preparation section. Due to lack of such equipment, we had to use laboratory drying cabinet at most, which didn't provide productivity in industrial scale. Drying cabinet is designed to dry products and materials in special temperature conditions in the shortest possible time. I had been working at a factory for 10 years as a lead technologist, and I was tasked with finding and purchasing a high-tech, state-of-the-art drying oven that would be made of highly durable materials with a wear-resistant coating that would not allow the oven to be susceptible to metal corrosion. I embarked on a search. The drying cabinet had to be with automatic regulation and maintenance of temperature, with a range of adjustable temperatures from 50 oct to 350 oct. The chief engineer of the plant advised me to first contact the manufacturers of the equipment. They provide warranty service, drawings, operation manuals, installation of manufactured equipment. I followed his advice. I chose one company in Germany, which produces pharmaceutical equipment, went to their website and wrote a letter in which I indicated the desired parameters and the capabilities of the machine. I did not specify a particular machine. I wanted to see what they could offer me. A week later I received the answer that they do not make the drying oven for production purposes, but they can develop and produce it at the customer's request by the end of next year. That was too long for us, so I decided to look for other manufacturers. I found a company online from China that produces drying cabinet. I called them and asked if they could deliver such equipment. They answered that they had such a machine. The manager asked for my phone number and said she would call me back in the evening when she checked with her company engineer about the capabilities of the equipment. However, she did not call in the evening. I contacted them the next day. The manager said she had forwarded the request to the engineering department and she would get back to me when she got an answer. This seems strange to me. When do I wait for an answer? How long to wait for an answer? Not a business-like approach to the customer L. After a series of failures, I gave up on finding a drying rack from manufacturers on my own. Then I remembered that at a pharmaceutical equipment forum in Moscow I met a specialist who was engaged in the selection and supply of pharmaceutical equipment for the production of medicines. I found his business card, and before contacting him I decided to check whether he really engaged in the supply of equipment. In order to do this I found his website and thoroughly studied the information on it. I liked that the website was up to date, with equipment videos, lots of contacts for communication. I also noticed that the website had been around since 2003. The company had been on the equipment supply market for a long time, and that is a good reason to say that it was successful. I called the manager. He said he remembered me, and was happy to hear from me again. I told him that I was looking for a modern, high-performance drying oven with automatic controls. He suggested a machine option that was popular with customers and proven in production. I agreed to consider it. The manager emailed me the passport and instructions for operating the equipment. He also offered to perform the procedure of turnkey delivery. I liked the proposed version of the equipment, and I agreed it with the management. A week later we signed a contract for the delivery of the drying oven. A month after signing the contract, the manager called me and told me that the equipment was ready and would be delivered in a week. The machine was delivered according to the contract in a month days. It met all my requirements, digital indication of set and current temperatures, forced air circulation in the working chamber, ventilation with adjustable section. The cabinet was made of durable material, the working chamber was made of stainless steel with 12 lattice shelves. The working chamber was additionally protected by a door made of transparent polymethylmethacrylate. The production engineer, and myself included, were pleased with the proposed drying cabinet option. Choosing equipment for drying materials was not easy. I went a hard way, there were obstacles and failures, but I was lucky. I met a specialist who solved my problems, gave competent advice, and left positive emotions from communication.